Why the Banish looked rather Covenant-like. A custom game browser, forge improvements, and a crazy new game mode besides Battle Royale. What would you like to see happen with the game? Well, in this video, we answer all of your burning questions. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving another video where we answer the community's questions about Halo Infinite. I recently went on my community tab and asked you guys what would you like to know more about Halo Infinite? Since I know a lot of you guys are not able to catch every single video, it's a good way to round up and kind of catch up with everything that's been going on with Halo Infinite and also kind of dive into what's been going on with the game and maybe speculate a little bit on it as well. So if you'd like to participate in the next Q&A video, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel guys to so keep an eye out whenever that community posts does go live so let's get right into the content here well this first question is actually kind of a bit of a two-part question two people actually kind of asking very similar questions and uh angry bird dude saying uh i was wondering if the enemies or fighting in Halo Infinite are just a small faction with the Banish explaining why they don't look very Banish-like. While also on Vex Prism asked the same similar kind of question saying, Hey Kevin, do you think the aesthetically covenant looking elites, brutes, etc. are in fact part of the Banished or a different faction working alongside the Banished? I heard this kind of gets described a little bit better within the book of Shadows of Reach, which I'm still working through. I'm about like four or five hours into the book right now. I'm listening through the audiobook right now, which is kind of about 40% 30% the way through the whole thing and I think the reason why you see so many covenant looking banished right because the banished are like bright red crimson looking kind of like very obviously banished when you see them and the banished are a coalition of various different species very similar to the covenant just without like the whole religious overarch over the whole thing I think the main reason why we see a lot of covenant looking ones are part of the banished because it's just um the way that the banished kind of work is that they kind of like go through the galaxy and more people joining them and things like that. And they're kind of not really like a centralized kind of governing kind of body, kind of like, and probably not having the same amount of resources as say like the Covenant has, which probably like, you know, unlimited money and resources you could possibly ever need. Where the Banished are much more of a ragtag kind of group taking things and then modifying them to make it more Banish-like. So I can see that as well within just like the ranks of the Banish as well. Maybe more low-ranking enemies probably don't even receive official Banished armor or colorings or things like that. Because we definitely did see this within the gameplay demo where you shot many like Covenant-looking uh, enemies, but then you saw like those Banished Brutes drop in from drop pods in on you. They're very clearly Banished. So I think there might be some kind of distinction between like you know, low level uh, members of the Banished that kind of just join in. They probably don't have the resources to get them like, kind of armors and make them officially look Banished. But then when you see actual Banished members, you're probably like, oh, okay, these guys are very serious. I need to make sure that like, you know, I come at this in a different way. But I think lore wise, it kind of makes sense. And also just kind of distinguishing between like official Banished and just kind of general Banished. But good observation there. The next question here is from Eternal. Will we be seeing a custom game browser coming into Infinite. I've been wondering about this since the MCC has plans to add in a custom game browser and keep up the good videos. First of all, thank you very much for the compliment. Yeah, we, you know, we try on the channel here, guys. Uh, but yeah, a custom game browser coming in for Halo Infinite, I think is very likely. I just really hope it functions a lot better than it did in Halo 5. You know, Halo 5 finally brought that in. It's a feature I've wanted in Halo ever since Halo 2 back in 2004. If finally get a chance to play in Halo 5, it works pretty well. I mean, like, you, you get to do everything you'd want to do in a custom game browser. My only issue is just the functionality of it, of people joining in games and leaving lobbies and things like that. That's where you really see the issue with the custom game browser and getting really choppy, slow, and laggy. And you know, if you have, like, Six, a full 16 player lobby and one person leaves it really kind of jams up the gears of everything it makes everything kind of laggy it makes you wonder like hey is the game frozen are we waiting on somebody what's going on but that's one thing i'm really hoping that they address with the mcc version of the custom game browser now we probably will see this come around probably like early 2021 would be my guess we've seen some mock-ups of what they want to do with the custom game browser man it looks pretty solid right there though so i just really hope one thing with it that they hopefully find some way to grant xp while playing a custom game browser that's actually kind of one of the reasons why i don't really mess with the custom game browser too much with halo 5 but i think in halo infinite you'd probably see that similar feature being brought in as well as i think they're really trying to make halo infinite be like everything halo's ever been 
in this game. That's why this game is so large. That's why they're delaying it, making sure that when they release this game, it's done properly. Plain Vincent the Third asks, Beyond AI placement and the confirmed undo button, are there innovations would you like to see 343 introduce to Infinite's Forge mode? Now, I don't know if AI placements have been confirmed. That'd be my number one thing. So then people can find a way to maybe make their own custom campaign missions, which I think would be amazing. Uh, there is like the, the confirmed undo and redo button you can do within Halo Infinite's Forge. Other than that though, what kind of stuff I would like to see? A modular terrain ability. So basically you can choose to kind of elevate grounds and lower them how you would like rather than have these set pieces and having to angle them in specific ways like we do right now in Halo 5. That way if you want to make a base, you can kind of like have the dirt going up into the base and kind of, you know, have the base inside the ground exactly how you would like. Another thing I would really like is to see uh, different custom button options like we have with multiplayer, right? You have like recon, you have bumper jumper, you have default, Fault, you have green thumb and all these different button uh, setups that you get to utilize in multiplayer but i would like to see that along with forge you know last time i really forged was in halo 3 and reach i tried halo 5s and honestly it was just overwhelmingly complicated for me to how to figure out how to use it i've heard that the halo 5 version the button scheme on that one actually is better but i would like to have the original version just so i can get myself into it be familiar with it and then work around with it and figure out why I need to use the new one more or be able to customize buttons a little bit better on that one. And also maybe just like a more intuitive UI. I, right now, you kind of have to learn the UI of trying to figure out exactly what you're looking for and what you need for different sections. Now I'm coming from a total noob standpoint now. I used to be like an expert like back in Halo 3. Like I thought forging was my thing back then, but not so much anymore. I'm kind of back to being a total noob, but I'd like to see it be a little bit more inviting to new players and new people to kind of jump in and try it out. Johan asks, what would be your idea for a new game mode in Halo Infinite's multiplayer other than Battle Royale? Well, I think this was kind of hinted at with a leaked information about the Banished versus UNSC 45 versus 45 game mode. Uh, obviously that's not confirmed. That was text leak that could be written by anybody. Uh, but I think that would be pretty freaking awesome. Because if you think about it that way, I think it would allow it to be kind of a class-based large scale multiplayer mode, you know, kind of like almost like a battlefield in a way. And I love the battlefield series. You now three and four were some of my all time favorite shooters for Battle the battlefield series and seeing something similar being brought to, you know, Halo would be just freaking awesome. Maybe something kind of like we see with like Star Wars Battlefront 2, right? Where you have these different kind of classes and weapons you can play as, but then you can also get like your superhero ability. So maybe you can, you know, if you're playing on the Banish, you can play as a brute or an elite or something like that. And if you're playing on the UNSC side, you get to play as a Spartan if you like, you know, earn up and earn up enough tokens or points within the game to kind of unlock that for like a temporary for like one life or something like that. That would be pretty freaking awesome. And I would love to see something along that line of kind of gameplay, kind of a more class based kind of shooter aspect for Halo because we've seen mock-ups from Pixel Flare who does amazing graphical work guys. If you don't know Pixel Flare, you definitely gotta check him out. And he kind of showcase like different class-based kind of gameplay for Halo, which I think would be totally freaking awesome. Now I know this is the question I'm sure a lot of guys have been wondering pretty much ever since the release of Halo 5 and it's, what do you think Infinite will give us the ability to play as elites again? I have a feeling in some capacity you will be able to play as elites. I know it was a major complaint and still is a major complaint with Halo 5 that playable elites were removed. Even at, I think in Halo 4 multiplayer that you weren't able to play as elites either. Now, if you had that large scale UNSC versus banished mode, bringing in playable elites would be making more sense. I don't really like how Halo did it with Halo 2 and Halo 3 and Reach as well when it comes to playable elites. It just kind of making them about the same size and you know, the hitboxes are really different and just like the way the player moves and just looks, it's just, I, it has an inconsistency I just don't like. I like Spartan on Spartan. That's my preference when it comes to you know, your 4v4, your 8v8 multiplayer. But if you play as elites, I like how Reach did it with uh, Invasion where you had like proper sizing to them. Uh, they had unique abilities, unique weapons and things like that within Invasion where it makes sense for that attack and defense mode. If you do like this large scale uh, 45 versus 45 mode that was text leaked, uh, then I think that would totally make sense and would fit and totally work. Uh, though in 4v4, I really don't like it. In custom games, sure, give people the option to play as elites in custom games, go for it. Guy with a helmet, also kind of along the same lines, but also just a little different saying, will we finally be able to play as Marines? I mean, if that 45 versus 45 mode is true, 
I think we could definitely see it like a Marines as like a basic level playable character you could have. Another question here by Yeska, if that's how you pronounce it. Hey Kevin, which armor color coating would you pay for? Now I would really try to avoid paying any extra money when it comes to Halo Infinite. Now I have a feeling we we'll probably will see some form of like microtransaction specific armor coatings. Kind of like we see with Call of Duty right now where you can earn different customizations through the battle pass. But there's also individual purchases that are not within the battle pass and they're their own thing. So I don't know if there's anything in particular that would make me want to buy one. I would prefer not to buy it. Uh, though I, I think the main thing is I'd like to see uh, be the ability to earn in-game credits to be able to pay for what you want. 343 should respect the player's time and if you're someone who grinds out 40 hours a week into Halo Infinite, you should be able to acquire most of the customization in the game. I can understand having limited time options or only purchase only or something like that since it is going to be a free to play multiplayer. There's just a really fine balance you need to hit there and you know in Halo 5 I never spent any money on rec pack besides the one hurricane relief pack for the Puerto Rico so I paid money on that one because it went to a good cause. Um, but I also got to know, like, I want to know where this money is going. Is it just going into Microsoft's back pocket? Is it getting put back into the community? Is it getting put back into the game? You know, if it's like, you know, money that goes into like the HCS, like we have with rec packs, I might be more lenient in paying for it. Uh, though I think it just mainly comes down to the art style of the game, the art style, the armor coating and things like that. I mean, I, I do see myself paying for some armor coatings if I really, really like them. Uh, but from what I've seen so far from just the Monarch and the Redshift, there's nothing really anything that would make me want to pay money for the customization, as I'm assuming the free ones that we'll get will probably be looking pretty cool as well. Free as in probably tied to the speculated battle pass. Guys, there were so many questions oh, and with this uh, community post, I will have to make it into like a part two, maybe even a part three when it comes to uh, these Q&A videos, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you missed any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.